was so upset after his bike was stolen that he took matters into his own hands to go out and find the thief. And Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg's in our newsroom to explain how he got his bike back and caught the suspect, Jeff. Yeah, I was in a very interesting situation. Jared Janwick, he's an avid cyclist who spent a lot of money on this bike that was stolen. And to get that bike back, he was willing to take a bit of a risk, and it paid off. So sort of customize and tweak it just how I want it. Jared Janowick's Cannondale CAD 10 isn't just an expensive bike at about $4,000. It's a meaningful one. A major part of my lifestyle. On Monday, July 8th, he realized the bike, along with two others, had been stolen from his condo parking garage in Merrifield the Saturday night before. I was furious. After filing a police report, Janowick figured the bikes were gone. But as he started scanning Craigslist in search of a new bike, he stumbled on a posting. There's a photo of it just right there. Of his CAD 10. Excited and furious all at the same time. He contacted the seller and arranged a meeting last Thursday in Arlington near Boston Common, along with Jason Berry, his racing teammate who took video of the whole thing. I knew Jared was going to be nervous, but now I'm nervous because we're thinking, what if something happens? Right before the meeting, they were able to flag down an Arlington police officer who called in backup. And he was like, why didn't you set this up a little sooner? And we were like, everything's happening now. And right after Janowick gave the signal, police swooped in and arrested the seller, 26-year-old Joshua Wright of D.C. It's always a good day when you can help out somebody like this. And Janowick, relieved and excited, had his bike back. It was in one piece, and so was he. My wife Mary told us not to do anything stupid. You yeah. know. <laughs> Did you succeed in that promise? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Good. I think so. Smart man. Janowick does not expect that he will have the same luck recovering the other two bikes that were stolen. It's a mountain bike and a cyclocross bike. But as for the Cat 10 he did get back, he says the thief actually cleaned and polished it up before the expected sale, so it's in better shape now than it was before it got stolen. Allison, there's certainly a silver lining there. What a story. All right, Jeff.